Yeah, good afternoon. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Friday, the 3rd of April, 2020. It is currently 4.14 p.m. in Vietnam. That's local time. This video is a quick look at the 12-hour high probability charts. New candle for the 12-hour charts occurs at 4 p.m. and 4 a.m. So this is the last candle for the week. And um, I'll just have a look what we've done. Here's my watch list on the right. All the ones in blue are the ones that got trades on. The ones that aren't highlighted have got no trades. And the ones in orange are the ones I'm going to the three I'm going to discuss in this video. No new trades, just all trade management. So let's have a look. We'll start with the Euro Swiss. Not my favourite pair, as I always bang on about, but it is in a cell. And with my system, the cell was taken. You, know, you can hardly see there's a red dot behind that red line. The QMP filter dot. Oh, it's under. The MA, that's 100 MA, and this red trend line, which signifies divergence. In this case, hidden bearish divergence as per my notes here. So I took a sell, there's no stop based on hidden divergence and close. I've just closed half of that and put a stop in place below the entry level. That gave me a profit of um, a whopping $8.45, and that's been added to the profit to date. So the reason I closed this half was because the MACD Platinum, which is the bottom oscillator, has just gone through the zero level. That's a heads up warning signal for me. With this, I'm looking to sell when it's above the zero level and looking to buy when it's below the zero level. Obviously, there's more rules than that, but that's just the general gist of it all. So it's a Euro Swiss, close half, stop and place, just protect myself. Euro USD, also a sell. Um, you can read the notes there. I just closed half and put my stop up here. Now, the reason I closed half, the MACD Platinum is not quite at the zero level, not the the reddish line I look at normally. There's the other line. There's a, a fainter line you might you might have trouble seeing, depending on what sort of device you're watching the video on. It's through the zero level. But tonight, it's been a Friday, and also non-farm payrolls or the employment numbers out of the US, I've just got to protect this position because I don't know what the numbers are going to come in like. I'm not a fundamentalist. Any other month, I wouldn't probably care, but the you know job claims and that in the states have gone through the roof the last couple of um couple of weeks so i don't know what's going to happen with the non-farm payroll so i'm just protecting this position so if it turns around and stops me out then overall i'm either break even or a small profit on this trade for that half i've closed that gave me a profit of 32 dollars uh, sorry 30 dollars and 26 cents and that's been added to this profit today uh finally the usd japanese yen I was in a cell here um, and I had a stop in place. That cell is now being stopped out. I just leave the lines on the chart so you can see. So that stopped out and that gave me a profit of $23.75. That's been added to the profit to date. So now I can delete these lines. And now you'll notice there's a buy signal there. Now this is a this is probably a valid buy signal. My only concerns is there's no, the MAs are tight, so that doesn't really concern me, even though we're coming into it. The MACD is below the zero level, which is the correct position, but it's not, it's generally, it's a fair way, I guess, when you look and compare it. So it's a, uh, I think the thing that's wrong me, it's Friday and we've got the non farm payroll numbers tonight, and the USD is a part of this pair. So I'm just giving this a miss for now. I might reassess this on Monday. It might sort of pop up tonight and pull back down and still be a valid buy signal. I don't know, but I'm not taking it now. I'm ignoring it. I'm just going to be happy. So that's no longer a trade on the US. So that's it for the trades, guys. Now, um, that's the last one video for the week. The weekend's upon us. I know it's tough going at the, time, at the moment in the world, so I hope everyone's safe or as safe as you can be. This virus, I'm just about over it. I'm, I'm sure everyone else is too. And we're probably pretty lucky in Vietnam because um, things aren't as bad as in some other countries around Europe and North America and that. Or wherever you are, just, you know, stay safe. Look after yourself. Look after your family. Also, before I go, um, I forgot to mention all these trades are shared in a shared, a shared spreadsheet, which is linked to the that spreadsheet's in the description of the video, so you're more than welcome to check that out, uh, all the trades I take, and I'll be updating that as soon as I get off this video. 
And if you do like the videos, please hit the subscribe or at least hit the like button. Much appreciated. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe, everyone. Thank you.